Many monuments, large and small, have been erected to the memory of the father of Texas. But few have captured the essential dignity and humility of the man as graphically as this restoration of the Austin Log Cabin. The cabin, his home while in Texas, has been restored as a lasting reminder of the father of Texas and his way of life. The cabin stands near the Brazos River at the town of San Felipe, about 50 miles west of Houston. Nearby is a well, curved with home-pressed bricks. Also, much of the brick in the chimney is from the original cabin. These have been placed just as Austin himself would have done it, with the crude tools of his time. Even though it housed the man who led the first colonist into Texas in 1821, this cabin could be called typical of the dwellings of the humblest settler of that period. The early Texans began by building log cabins open on the south. As time permitted, a second room was added with the open porch or breezeway separating the two. The skeleton structures kept out sun and rain but offered little other comfort. However, it was a roof over their heads and a wall between them and the Indians. Hanging over the fireplace can be found a flag. This flag was made by the ladies of San Felipe when the town was the colony capital. It was presented to the small company of men who stood under roofs much like these and prayed that they would reach the Alamo in time to fight and if need be, die for Texas. There are other reminders of that fateful chapter, mute now but eloquent in their silence. A powder horn used by one of Austin's scouts how many times did Stephen Austin stare into a fireplace like this one? And sit at tables and walnut desks, searching for answers to perplexing problems of his little colony. It was Stephen's father, Moses Austin, who had the dream of colonizing Texas. It was Stephen, the architect, who made the blueprint. This ox yoke is a reminder of the hardships of that era. Here is one of the original land grants signed by Austin. The town of San Felipe de Austin was laid out in 1824. San Felipe was the first American town in Mexican Texas. It was also the colonial and provisional capital of Texas until March 1st, 1836. A perusal of these old papers leads to what amounts to a history of the San Felipe area and the people who lived there. We learn that many firsts can be claimed by San Felipe. Travis' immortal message of victory or death from the Alamo was sent direct to San Felipe. The first book published in Texas was printed at San Felipe. While these are all important to the growth of Texas, this village, this cabin, will be remembered because it was the home of Stephen F. Austin. It is recorded history that he said, the only home I had of my own was at San Felipe. It is fitting that a statue of Austin was placed near the cabin, reminding us that this great man never forgot his humble beginnings.